Hello everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here. I just want to spend a couple of minutes on talking about the importance of nitric oxide in sleep. You know, sleep is absolutely essential. Our bodies cannot and will not heal or repair without adequate sleep because it's during our sleep that we repair and replace dysfunctional tissue. So we got to provide the body with the nutrients it needs so the cells have what they need to uh, perform and we can mobilize our stem cells to repair and replace dysfunctional tissue. So if you're not getting adequate sleep or you have sleep apnea, and I think this is a major problem with most people worldwide that are dealing with chronic disease. They're not getting enough sleep so their body cannot and will not recover and repair. Uh, and so that's absolutely essential. We need oxygen to make nitric oxide in the lining of the blood vessel. In fact, it's an essential cofactor for the nitric oxide synthase enzyme that converts arginine into nitric oxide. Without oxygen, this enzyme doesn't work. Interestingly, without nitric oxide, we cannot uptake or deliver oxygen. So we get this really feed-forward mechanism where if we're not getting enough sleep or we have sleep apnea, our bodies and our cells are not getting enough oxygen to make nitric oxide. Without nitric oxide, we can't uptake and deliver oxygen, and we become hypoxic. Cells become dysfunctional, inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction sets in, and we develop chronic disease. So we must correct our sleep and get good sleep. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, you know, it, obviously it's an anatomical obstruction. We have to alleviate that. But most importantly, we have to prepare our body for a good night's sleep. And there are a number of ways we can do this. And I think what we do and what we focused on is the production of nitric oxide. And there are ways we can enhance nitric oxide production that then when we're sleeping, we can produce nitric oxide during our sleep we can help increase oxygen saturation so that the cells of the body, when we're sleeping, are getting sufficient blood flow, oxygen, nutrient delivery, and mobilizing stem cells so that when we sleep, we can repair and replace dysfunctional tissues. Without adequate sleep, without adequate oxygen, without adequate nitric oxide production, that is the mechanistic basis for most, if not all, chronic diseases. So I encourage you to understand what disrupts nitric oxide production and what promotes nitric oxide production. So we need a moderate diet or a balanced diet in moderation, lots of green leafy vegetables, sufficient nitrate or nitrite. Uh, you have to stop using mouthwash. We're dependent upon our oral microbiome to generate nitric oxide gas. Get rid of fluoride in your toothpaste. Get rid of fluoride in your municipal water supply. Get a water filtration system. Um, don't use antacids. Our body needs stomach acid production to make nitric oxide. And most people, if you're eating too late, you get acid reflux, they put you on an acid blocker, shuts down nitric oxide production, and I believe is the earliest event in the development of sleep apnea and not getting enough sleep, enough oxygen, and enough nitric oxide production. Moderate physical exercise. So just follow these very simple, common sense strategies. Give your body what it needs to make nitric oxide, and your body will thank you for it, and you can sleep peacefully and allow your body to heal and repair. Thank you.